Okay, so today um, I'm going to be running through uh, a quick model builder uh, explanation of how to do um, the suitability analysis using ArcGIS, um, using the uh, reclassify tool and the weighted overlay tool. Um, basically, here we have uh, the state of Puebla. And uh, what we want to do is figure out what areas in the state of Puebla would be most favorable to uh, have uh, basically a working forest or a forest property for timber harvest. And so we have some various different um, inputs that we can look at to help us make that decision. And the first one we have is vegetation potential. And so I'll turn this layer on and uh, we'll see these different colors signify different types of uh, vegetation. And um, if you look here, the uh, orange here signifies kind of like a pine forest um, or a more uh, evergreen, more high altitude type of forest. <clears throat> the purple here is kind of a cloud forest and type vegetation. And uh, below that here in this kind of turquoise is um, an evergreen um, tropical forest, evergreen subtropical forest. And then uh, over here in this kind of brighter green color we have kind of, sh it's more of a shrub, uh, drier environment. And then also, uh, as well, in, the, in this other color here is kind of a drier type forest area. And then this uh, kind of like uh, this other color here is, is an area that's aquatic uh, that would not be suitable for uh, forestry. So uh, those, th this is basically the different types of vegetation. Um, we also have... Um, Some other uh, we also have some other layers. Uh, one is altitude. Uh, so the areas in dark, the darker areas here, um, signify areas of lower elevation, and the what the lighter to white areas signify higher elevation. Um, the other one we have is this is an area that uh, that shows the slope. So if I zoom in here. You can see that um, the areas that are more black are, uh, are lower. They are more flat. And the areas that are more uh, that are whiter or in the lighter gray colors are more uh, inclined. Uh, the other one that I have here is uh, is a that that's important when you're thinking about uh, timber harvest is a distance from roads, and so we have this uh, this here. This is a Euclidean. I use the Euclidean distance tool to determine a distance from roads. And if you see here, there's the roads, and then the areas in dark mean that they're closer to the roads, and as it gets lighter, you get further away. So. Um, basically, I pulled all those into uh, this model here. If you look at this model, so here in blue you have all of the inputs. And these inputs uh, are basically the vegetation, the distance from roads, the altitude, and the slope. And so then uh, what you have to do is you have to look at, be able to look at these, all of these in the same kind of, in the same layer or in the same uh, reference, frame of reference, um, as far as like a value. And so uh, what that, uh, the tool that helps you do that is the reclassification tool. So if you look here, uh, I'll open up the, this one first. These are the different types of vegetation uh, that we have, and then I reclassified them, um, giving them a value of between one and five, based on their um, their available use or their, their um, uh, how good that that area is for forestry. 
Um, it's just based on expert opinion. And uh, so the areas that are the evergreens, um, tropical forest, or the cloud forest areas are considered five, and then the area that is the evergreen forest is considered four. Um, the, the more pine associated forest is four, and then on down uh, to one for the aquatic. And so then uh, also going down through some of the other ones, uh, this is looking at distance from roads. So uh, it's for between zero and a thousand meters from a road is considered to be a five. Um, between 1,000 and 2,500 would be a 4. And then, so more than, so like between 2,500 and 5,000 meters would be a 3. And so that like the further that you get from a road, the less favorable that area is um, uh, for, uh, for timber harvest or for, for actually having a, a business run based on timber harvest. Um, the other one that we look at here is altitude. And Puebla has quite a variation in altitude, um, all the way up to f over 5,000 meters. And so those areas are not considered very good. Between 3,000 and 5,000 really are not considered very favorable for forestry. Um, and so those are given a 1. Uh, but between the lowest available value and 2,000, we gave those a five because that area is considered to be a more high value um, altitude range for forestry. Um, the other one we looked at is uh, the, the slope of the, the landscape. And basically, the, uh, if you have a really steep area, such as all the way up to 82% uh, percent slope, you have um, a really, it's, it's not a very good uh, area as far as getting into the the area and actually um, cutting the, the trees and, and doing the timber harvest because then you open it up to a lot of erosion uh, possibilities. But some of the more um, flat areas or that are less inclined will be much more valuable as far as the ease of uh, of harvesting. So we gave those a five, and so then there there's kind of uh, varying levels of uh, uh, levels in between there. So basically, we take all these together, and then uh, so those reclassifies all run, and then go into the these outputs here, and these outputs are then put into the weighted overlay, and the weighted overlay basically takes the inputs. And then you you give an, a percent influence to those those inputs. So I have the four different inputs here, and I gave um, I gave the vegetation potential uh, the highest influence, a 50 percent, because if you don't have the vegetation, uh, it doesn't the other ones aren't going to matter as much. Um, so then the other uh, things that we took into account were the altitude and then the, the slope, and then the distance from roads. And so once we run that, and that weighted overlay runs, it puts out one raster image. And so I'll pull that raster image up here so that we can see it. And so basically this raster image uh, gives you a values from 2 to 5, Two being the lowest value areas for timber har for uh, timber harvest. Um, three being kind of medium low. Four being uh, starting to look good, as favorable for timber harvest. And then five being the most favorable areas for timber harvest. And based on our criteria. And so if you look here at the roads, you'll see that. Um, that these, some of these areas uh, in blue are connected to roads uh, and they're also in really favorable zones as far as the vegetation type. Um, but if you look over here in this area you'll see that uh, this zone, although the zone uh, in general isn't as favorable because of the fact that the uh, those areas are close to roads 
then that area becomes more favorable for timber harvest. And you'll also see that the areas that are excluded from or are less favorable are considered to be the higher elevations, uh, kind of shown in here in this kind of white or blue color. And then also areas that we know uh, based on the vegetation type that the, that vegetation is not favorable uh, for timber harvest. And so we can play around uh, inside this, uh, the weighted overlay tool, we can play around with um, changing around some of the, the percent influences. Um, and we can also change uh, within the reclassification, we can go in and change uh, the different, uh, basically the different values, say like a different altitude was considered more more highly valuable. And we could go in here and change the values uh, in, using this classify tool. And we could change, um, if, if we found out through a certain study that like, one value, one, one area of elevation was more favorable than another, uh, we could use that uh, data and then uh, we, could, we could basically change accordingly to make the model um, track those types of values more closely. And so this has been kind of a, just an overview of the, um, the weighted overlay tool. And uh, so uh, I hope to use it again, you know, use it more in the future and refine this, this model and others for looking at uh, natural resources.